All right, so got these three ribbon mics set up here, and these are these are all fairly inexpensive uh, in the grand scheme of things. Um, the they are there's none of these microphones that was over five hundred dollars. Um, actually, a lot of them were less than that. Um, the, uh, we've got the uh, Sterling Audio ST170, uh, which is that uh, Sterling Audio is is Guitar Center's own home brand uh, or musician's friend. Uh, you can get a stereo matched pair of these for under two hundred dollars. Uh, and then we've got in the middle we've got the Cascade Fathead. Um, this is the the fat they they make several Fatheads now. This is the Fathead BE, which is like the Fathead Two. Uh, it's, it's the Fathead 2 circuitry, but it's in a, a, a less expensive package. <laughs> it basically comes without the shock mount and the wooden box and all that stuff, and it's just the microphone. Um, and then over here we've got the Golden Age R2. Um, now one thing to know about ribbon mics is that they are, uh, um, they're, well, it's, it's designed, it's, the technology is 70 years old. It's tried and true, um, but they are fragile so you wouldn't want to do this in a situation where the ribbon could get easily damaged uh don't put don't this these are not for live sound reinforcement uh they're also not for uh, your typical you know i wouldn't use them any place where where it's where there's a lot of air moving so you know sometimes if it's if you're like putting it directly in front of a brass instrument like a trumpet, then there's moving air and that can, uh, that can rattle the ribbon and then you won't get the right sound. Uh, but they do sound, they've got a really nice off axis sound. And also, uh, ribbon mics are designed to be uh, bi-directional. So, so it's gonna have a figure eight polar pattern. That means that the, uh, the, the, pick, the pattern on this side of the mic and the pattern on this side of the mic, so it'll pick up a lot of room noise. So we're gonna check that out too. I'll probably at some point turn these around and play into the back of the mic and see how they sound. Uh, but for now, let's start out just with a, a basic, simple sound test. Um, oh, one other thing, the, the Sterling is a phantom power. It's an active ribbon mic, so it takes 48 volts fam phantom power. These other two are passive ribbons. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is just play some notes. And we're playing straight into each of these mics. I've got them like pretty close to the same positioning so that they're gonna all pick up this same area here. Uh, so here we go first, and I'll, I'll isolate the sound from each one so you can hear them, uh, but, it, but it'll be of me playing the same thing. So... <laughs> Okay, so now that was the, uh, uh, that's just playing straight into the mic. Now just for fun, I'm going to just turn my own position and play off axis so that it's, now the saxophone is going to be different than a, than a brass, than a trumpet or trombone, um, where their sound is a lot more directional. So you might not hear too much of a difference if I'm playing with like not directly in front of the bell of my horn, it's still going to sort of pick up the same zone in here. Um,
So that is the uh, the three ribbon mics. And uh, now just for fun, um, let's see, I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to turn these around and we're going to see what it sounds like to play into the back of this microphone. I like this, the fat head design. You can see uh, it's the, the back of the mic has a, a different, like a more rounded space. So it's easy to tell which end you're playing into. This one kind of looks very similar from front to back. Okay. <laughs> So now another, just for grins, I'm going to turn them again. This time I'm going to play them sideways so that you'll hear. The true off axis sound. Let's see what this does. <laughs> And one more time, just straight up front. So there you have it, the Golden Age R2, the Cascade Fathead, and the Sterling Audio ST170, three, three inexpensive ribbon mics that you can use to get a good brass sound in your studio. Thanks for watching.